Man, a lot of people are kicking things in frustration because COVID-19 is still a problem, even in the world of the NBA. After two games were postponed, the Dallas Mavericks, New Orleans, and Miami Heat Celtics, it is talks are ongoing that uh, they might take a 8 to 12 day break to let teams recover and uh, try to adjust their COVID-19 protocol. So once again, the NBA is considering a 8 to 14 day pause amidst a growing rate of positive cases within the league. And now the NBA upper management and general managers will be meeting virtually today or tomorrow to see what they can do to make things better not just for the teams and the fans but most especially the players as well who are putting their lives at risk by playing the game they love and that's it for the nba today this is q radio Q is good for you. Q. Increase your market share and revenues with BitStop Network Services, where we help you lower your cost of acquiring new clients. With BNS, you can deploy tried and tested strategies that leverage the power of the Internet that is proven to work for businesses like yours. Call BNS at 6375-522-5089 for a free online conference. To find out more about how our innovative web solutions can help you succeed. Splash of Sun. Say hello to our listeners over at 105.1 Baguio, 90.7 Cebu, 93.1 Davao, and 99.1 Bacola. Then everyone listening from all over the world via our online stream, QRadio105.com. Here's Wes Nelson and Hardy Caprio with See Nobody on Q. Can't catch me. From the News HQ of Q. Here now is World News for You. Argentina's Congress has legalized abortions up to the 14th week of pregnancy, a groundbreaking move for a region with some of the world's most restrictive termination laws. Senators voted in favor of the bill with 38 in favor, 29 against, and one abstention. Until now, abortions were only permitted in cases of rape or when the mother's health was at risk. The Catholic Church, which remains highly influential in Latin America, had opposed the move, calling on senators to reject the bill. Pro-choice activists hope the passing of the law in Argentina will inspire others to follow suit. Abortions are completely banned in El Salvador, Nicaragua, and the Dominican Republic, and only allowed in certain restricted circumstances in most other Latin American nations. Only Uruguay, Cuba, Guyana, and parts of Mexico currently allow women to request an abortion, with varying limits on the number of weeks of pregnancy in which an abortion is legal. You're too- to Q Radio. Q. Q is good. Q Radio. Q is you. It's all about you and the world around you. News and information. Plus music from here, there, and everywhere. All that you need and when you need it. This is your lifestyle radio and information station. Q. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 